This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I'm covering pop culture, death vs. heard, celebrity news, stuff like that. If you've been following me for a long time, from the beginning of the channel, you might know I used to make a lot of Captain Marvel and Brie Larson videos. Now, the thing that made me do that is Brie Larson made the white dude comments. You know, she said some things about white dudes in the industry. And you know what? Even if some of those things are true, I still like to keep race out of things in general. So, you know, I made some re-videos. And now Brie is back in the news a little bit because of NFTs, which also leaves the open question about is it moral for celebrities to be selling NFTs and are they good for the environment, which some people are saying they're not. But I've also got an opinion on that. So this is from the direct. It says, Brie Larson's NFT promotion receives backlash. What happened was she made her new Twitter profile a NFT and announced it. Marvel fans are about that superhero life, but the same can't be said for non-fungible tokens. Captain Marvel actress Brie Larson took to Twitter to reveal her new profile picture, an NFT made by illustrator Ververa Eli, if I'm saying that right, but that's not important. So, you know, this puts Brie and Captain Marvel back in the news a little bit, and maybe that's the point, because since Captain Marvel, she's done pretty much nothing. And I bet some of you guys here are like, Who's Brie Larson? And, well, Brie Larson, best known for Captain Marvel. Let's see what we got. Here it is. Here's her profile pic. It's just the blue face of little hummingbird. Okay. But it says Flower Girls NFT by Vervara Alley. Others voiced their concerns about how NFTs make art theft easier. I know you meant well considering the charities but trust us, investing in NFTs isn't a good idea. The amount of power required to preserve just one is quite harmful to the environment, and it's made art theft easier, the point that many are afraid to post online anymore. One addressed Ponzi scheme, nature of NFTs, and encouraged Larson to do some research before purchasing. Okay, so I don't know the full science here, but... I guess they say power required to preserve it means that, you know, cryptocurrency is a currency that's not paper or metal or anything like that. So you would need electricity to preserve it and keep it running. But having said that, you need electricity to keep everything preserved and running anyway. So like I said, I can't get to the fine science details about it, but if you need power to keep them going, there's a lot of other things in this world, just about everything, we need power to keep going. Now, maybe people find this to be a waste of power because it's just a piece of art, but that's where they're coming from. I don't have a full fleshed out opinion. I need more details, but I'm not here to talk about the science. I'm just here to throw out that one logical question that if NFTs are guilty of this, aren't quite a other few things guilty of it anyway. Okay, let's move on. Friendship ended with Brie. Well, I don't know who said that. I clipped it out by mistake, but my friendship ended with Brie a very long time ago. Some stressed that this was her choice and suggested Larson is being subjected to more criticism than other celebrities that have purchased NFTs. And that happens with Brie because Brie in the past has said a lot of political things that not everyone likes. She's had her feminist talks. Like I said, she's had her white dude talks and things like that. So when a celebrity who's got more of like a clean slate in the public eye does something, they won't be as hard persecuted for it like Brie Larson will because people will be following her everywhere forever because like me, we don't like her political attitude. My God, just because she bought an NFT, so much is said. She is just another person. Let her be her choice. Damn, so many celebs have opted for NFTs in recent times. Haven't seen so much backlash. Okay, so that person defends Brie. I've got no problem reading a couple of defenses too. It's a kind of fair point, I guess. I mean, theoretically, just because she said th some things you don't like doesn't mean she should get more backlash for this necessarily. 
but I'm saying that's why she is. So you shouldn't be confused about why she is. Bree's NFT tweet has been ratioed more tweets than likes on Twitter, proving that even the most diehard Brie fans are not happy about her decision to support NFTs with 9,000 likes and 15,000 retweets. This is one of the biggest ratios that a big star has ever received on Twitter. After angering fans with her NFT post, Brie later posted a flattering picture of herself. And here it is, POV, You're My Mirror, which a lot of people took as, you know, kind of an attention steal or an attention grab away from the whole controversy that she caused with the NFT. Many fans believe this picture was supposed to distract from her NFT controversy, which fans are not forgetting about. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Like I said, I don't have a fully fleshed out opinion on these things. I'm still kind of studying it myself, learning things. So I don't want to say something really negative or positive until I know a bit more. But I will say this. There are people that jump on the boat that is bad for the environment, so stop it, and they don't know the facts. So a lot of people you see jumping on that boat like, well, it's bad for the environment. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe we're still learning about it. Maybe it's not any worse than anything else. So then you shouldn't really have to criticize NFTs if it's as bad as other things. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Looking forward to the comments because like I said, learning about this, I think I said it like three or four times. So we're definitely done here. If you're not subscribed, consider it. If you don't consider it and you don't subscribe, I guess we said, but I'll get over it. We're done here for now. See you next time.